Hello everyone, welcome back to Economics for Students. In this video, we are going to discuss about Law of Diminishing Marginal Utility. Law of Diminishing Marginal Utility states that as consumer consumes more and more units of the same commodity, marginal utility derived from each additional unit goes on diminishing. This law is based on some assumptions. Firstly, we assume that the units of commodities must be consumed continuously without any time gap. Secondly, all the units consumed must be identical to each other. On the basis of these assumptions, let us explain the law with a simple example. Suppose a person is feeling extremely thirsty and he needs water. The first glass of water will give him a lot of satisfaction and he will derive a good amount of utility. Suppose he derives 12 utils of utility from the first glass. When he drinks the second glass, his thirst is already reduced. So he will derive less utility from the second glass. Suppose he will derive 6 utils from the second glass. His satisfaction from the third glass is further reduced and he derives 4 utils from the third glass. If he continues to take more glasses of water, his marginal utility for glass of water will fall to zero. Finally, when he is forced to take the sixth glass of water, he will obviously puke and his marginal utility from 6th glass will become negative, say minus 2 utils. The marginal utilities derived by the consumer is presented in the form of a schedule here. We can find the total utilities by adding up the marginal utilities. From this utility schedule, we can derive total utility, marginal utility curves. In this figure, glasses of water is measured along x-axis and total utility and marginal utility is measured along y-axis. The total utility represented by the blue curve, it first increases, reaches a maximum and then starts to decrease. Marginal utility is represented by the red curve. It falls continuously become zero and then become negative. 